Hi everyone, thanks so much for being here. My name is Kat and I make houseplant videos here on Good and Planty. If you just so happen to absolutely love this video, please consider liking it, commenting, subscribing, or following me on Instagram. All of these things help me grow my channel like a plant. Okay, so if it's not obvious, I got a new camera. I am so excited. You can actually see my pores. I was not lying to you when I said that was coming because I am dramatic and want to use the camera immediately to its highest ability. I'm gonna be showing you all of my favorite foliage within my collection that is definitely prettier than anyone I've ever seen in my entire life. I will not be including any philodendron I don't think in this video because of a different video that's coming out later this week. You can probably guess what that is. I'm also trying so hard not to look in the viewfinder. I totally understand the struggle now because when you film on your iPhone, you can see everything that you're doing and now I can't. So please bear with me. I played a lot with the settings to try and figure everything out, but I will hopefully, you know, tweak it as the videos go on and I will be getting a mic so the audio will also get better. Okay, so the first plant is a black pagoda lipstick plant and I'm very excited to do this. Are you ready? Hold on, let me find a good leaf. Look at that! Oh my gosh, I'm like a real YouTuber now, people. This is not a joke. Anyway, I obviously really love this foliage because of the light green. On the back, it's kind of like a reddish color. Let me show you a good example. I know I'm, I'm gonna like do it way too often. So the back is kind of like that color. I just like love the contrast and how it almost gives me like philodendron varicosum vibes, but it is obviously a very different plant and I love that it vines. So I think this kind of speaks for itself as to why it is in my list for prettiest foliage. Been a really fast grower for me, pretty simple care and absolutely striking. Yay! God, it is so hard not to look right here. I just wanna look at myself, I'm narcissistic. We are going to jump to Hoya and here I have a Hoya pubic calyx. This plant honestly gets me thinking about Hoya. I normally don't really buy into the Hoya craze, but not only is this Hoya fairly easy to get compared to some other Hoya. This is not as easy as getting a Hoya Carnosa Crimson Queen or Crimson Princess, but it is also not, definitely not the hardest Hoya to find and also not that expensive compared to other Hoya. So I would say that at least for where I live, it's fairly accessible. And honestly, this pattern is crazy. Oh my gosh, hold on. Let me do it again. So here is a good close up of the leaf. And it has a little bit of like a camo vibe and it's super splashy. Of course, we have some leaves that are a little bit less splashy like this one, but overall super beautiful. And we have lots of little tendrils coming in. This is another fast grower in my experience. I really like this Hoya. I'm also excited for it to bloom for me eventually. <laughs> Okay, next we have a plant that is actually in flower right now, so I'm very excited to do a little cute close-up of it, and it is my purple passion plant. This plant is so unique. First of all, it is purple, and there's not a lot of plants that are purple. There are a lot of plants that are pink, but I think purple is kind of harder to come by. The leaves themselves are green, and then the tiny little hairs on the plant are what's purple, so the brighter the light that you give it, the more purple it will be. Their blooms are like this bright yellow and I think it bounces off the purple so well. And this plant does trail so I did get it a little bit shorter. It wasn't trailing quite yet but now that it's getting longer it will trail. It is pretty vocal so when it's thirsty the leaves will soften and I know to water it. The only thing I will say is because it's a little bit hairy I would avoid t uh, like top-down watering. I would bottom water this plant basically is what I'm saying because you don't want the water to kind of sit in the hairs and then get some bacteria growth, some crispy leaves. You just want to avoid that. I would say that the main care tip I have for this guy is to just bottom water. So beautiful. Okay, that's it. Jumping to Peperomia, we have 
We have a very thirsty peperomia, so I did just water it, but it has not perked up yet. Please don't judge me on that. But I do have a peperomia frost that is also flowering right now. This plant is so unique for its sheen. I love the peperomia leaf shape, specifically like the peperomia. I think this is a caparata. And it's just like a very satisfying succulent plant. Let me show you. Yeah, you get some of that sparkle and the veins are very dark. So the lighter portions of the leaf really pop out. And I do have some cute little flowers. This was the first peperomia I got, maybe. Oh my God, it's just so sparkly and pretty and accessible. This is not a super hard to come by peperomia at least in my experience. And when they're thirsty, they will kind of droop like this and be very bouncy. And you can um, scrunch the foliage like this. Okay, next we have a classic on this channel. So I'm very excited to bring her out. You probably already know what it is. It is the Syngonium Albo Variegata. It's my favorite plant ever. And you can see that it has grown quite a bit. Let me show you the foliage first. What's the best leaf? Here we have a little bit of like a it's slowly on its way out but we do have a half moon here so that's exciting i know everybody loves half moons other than that what's another great leaf oh i like this leaf a lot right here do you also pick out your favorite leaves or is that just me like i know my favorite leaf on all my plants this this plant has given me a lot of like very white leaves so i definitely have to keep an eye on it to make sure that it can photosynthesize. Okay, love my Syngonium Alpo. She's great. Moving on. Okay, we have another sparkly plant. I want you to, in your minds, guess what plant this is, because you probably know. It is the Cebu Blue. I hope I'm saying that right. I can never, I can never remember the proper way. And this plant is fairly known for its foliage, so I'm not I don't think I'm being very original here. You can kind of see the blue tint that everyone's talking about when they discuss this plant and why it's so beautiful. There is definitely a blue tint. The veining is a quite a bit darker, so you have some variety there. There's also some like sheen, a little bit of sparkle. And on top of it, the texture is so nice. It's like just a little bit bumpy with the veining. I love this plant, it looks so good. It has a lot more like dainty vines than I was expecting when I first got it. I pictured this more like similar to a pothos, but that's fine with me. I do eventually want to put this on a pole so that it can grow up and get really big leaves. So there we go, Sabu Blue. Okay, next up we have another Syngonium because it this is good and planty. That's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get a lot of Syngonium all the time. This is another plant that I went to go pull out for this video, but it was really thirsty. So I am sorry that it's a little bit floppy, but I did water her before filming. Um, she just hasn't had time to bounce back yet. So it is the Syngonium Erythrophyllum. This plant is so beautiful. I hope that the camera is gonna pick up exactly the colors and depth that I'm talking about. The best way to experience this plant is definitely in person. It's just the best plant ever. I love this plant so much. Mika is going to town on cleaning himself. So the draw of this plant is the front of the leaves are this really, really dark green. They look almost black. And then I think you can already tell, but the back of the leaves are this really beautiful, like scarlet red almost. It's like beautiful, hold on. This is a little bit of like a, a newer leaf. And then here is kind of a more mature one. So you can see the red is like a little bit more pronounced on this leaf. And they're so glossy and like ugh, beautiful and satisfying. Okay, let me let him out. <laughs> so yeah, this plant is absolutely incredibly striking. If you like more of those like goth plants, this is definitely a great one. Syngonium erythrophyllum. Okay, and of course, if we're talking about beautiful foliage, we have to discuss begonias. So, so I'm really bad with begonia IDs, but according to some friends on Instagram, this is the begonia medora. It is a cane begonia and it's beautiful. So that's why it's in this video. This is my first cane begonia. My first begonia ever was actually a Rex begonia, which is why I was, you know, 
not a huge fan of begonia for a little while but now that i've experienced cane begonias i'm a little bit more excited i do have to say as you can tell i'm like a sucker for a silvery look and lots of contrast and that's exactly what's going on here but on top of that i find the begonia leaf shape to just be so stunning with you know the little ribbed sides they're called angel wing begonias for a reason and it's very apparent here also do have a little pink notes in like the stems and stuff like that because let's see see that right there where the new growth is the stems do have a little bit of a pinkish tone to them but if any of you have begonia recommendations i know a lot of you are huge begonia fans please let me know maybe we're on the beginner side but i think i want to dip my toe in the begonia pool. Well, I already dipped my toe. I wanna to put my foot in the begonia pool and I would love your help, so let me know. The next plant is one that may surprise you. I have not talked about this plant on this channel, I think, and you might think it's a different plant when I pull it out, but it's actually, okay, well, it's been in frame the whole time, my bad, but it is this plant, and no, it is not a peace lily. It is actually the bat flower plant. First of all, it's huge. I wanted to include this plant because while the f it is known for the flower, obviously, it's the bat flower plant. You don't know what the flower looks like, I'll insert a picture here. It's really cool, it's beautiful, and I do have this bud on the way. So I've been trying to give it really high humidity so that it actually flowers for me, but I think I see some crisping. It is what it is. But anyway, it doesn't even matter because the foliage is so beautiful. Let me show you. So if you're more into plain green foliage with like very nice texture, this is the plant for you. Basically, I was so surprised. Okay, sorry, I'm so excited. Look at this. Look at this. So it's very similar to peacely leaves for sure. I'm not gonna deny you that but it's a lot more like angular almost and the ribs are like a lot more pronounced i'm hoping that you can see this all right it is like you can see how these like little grooves are so much more dramatic than the peace lily plant the leaf size is pretty significant it's almost similar to a peace lily sensation that's kind of all i have to point out for this plant is how beautiful just the texture of the leaf is because if you don't want a whole lot of color within your collection then i think that paying attention to the texture of the leaves is a great way to add some like visual variety to your collection if you have high humidity and lower light there you go perfect plant for you okay and the last plant is going to be another syngonium obviously come on and it is going to be the syngonium pink splash now this plant you've probably seen it before and i don't want to just include it just because it has pink variegation on it but i do have to brag a little bit it kind of the colors went down a little bit but basically this leaf came in a couple weeks ago it has white variegation on it i found that so beautiful and unique i'm not sure if these plants do that all the time someone told me i might have like this really rare mutation but that just doesn't seem like <laughs> something that would happen to me so i'm choosing not to believe that but if you know what that is and if that just happens with pink splashes please let me know because i found that to be really cool okay so that's gonna be it for today's video thank you so much for watching and letting me use my camera and do the little youtuber thing i really appreciate you all so much we hit 3k a little while ago and i don't think i mentioned it in a video so i will do it here thank you all so much for that and subscribe if you don't already so that we can keep that number growing and one day YouTube will be my full-time job. Bye!